What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Um, as promised, I am going to do a series of instructional videos on how to do these isometric drawings. You know, you need isometric paper like that. You need your little triangle, right? You need lots of pencils, right? Make sure you have plenty of erasers. Um, at the exam, uh, there is a pencil sharpener there, but once you run out of eraser and you're like this and you have to start over, well, um, let's just say that you only get one piece of paper per that example. And if you press too hard and you're now you're struggling to erase and it's not legible, well, don't say I didn't tell you so. Um... For all of you who don't know, um, my name is Mike Dyack. I'm a licensed master plumber in uh, certain jurisdictions in the state of New York, the entire state of South Carolina. And in August of 2023, I passed, marginally passed, the state of Florida master plumber's exam. Uh, I got a 73.2 or 0.3 and a passing grade of 70. Um, you may say, oh, Mikey Pipes, you know, <laughs> Come on, like, you just passed. Well, guess what? I passed, and that's all that matters. Uh, what's more um, crazy is that the passing rate is roughly 25%. Uh, if you pass it the first, if you pass it the first time, uh, you're one of, you know, let's say, two and a half, three people out of 10, or out of 100, you know, 25 people passed at most. And the statistics show that if you don't pass the first time, the chances of you passing are, are slim to none. Um, the second, ter second, third, fourth, and eighth, you know, retakers, um, it's less than 10%. Those are the statistics, those are the facts. Uh, Florida is an open record state. So all I can say is that you have a plethora of books you have your fuel gas code book, your accessibility, your mechanical, your residential, your solar and pool heating, your OSHA, your plumbing code book, um, the septic and, 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 and uh, drainage field book. There's really a lot. And then plus you have the mathematics for, for plumbers uh, and then plumbing code simplified. Literally you have, I don't know, I think 11 references at your disposal for this all day class. But nonetheless, I want to focus on how to take something like this, a three-piece bathroom. We have a lav, we have a water closet, and we have a tub, okay? Um, typical three-piece bathroom, right? Um, but what you, this is something similar that, to what you're going to have in an exam. Now, you're going to get five, um, I'm pretty sure it's five, five different thick figures like this that you're going to have to put into paper like this. Okay, and I'm mostly creating this video because I took an exam by exam pros. And let me tell you something, cocky don't flow uphill. And if you're teaching your students, you know, and showing them an isometric solution where cocky's going uphill, you're wrong off the bat. So fortunately i had other resources i had a few other mentors out there who helped me out so i am just paying it forward and i'm going to do my best to try to help you pass the florida plumbing exam um so the six key points to remember most important thing and i don't know if it's still true but because when i took my exam and i was given something like this i didn't have direction of direction on it there was no north I had a building drain and I had some pictures had been through roof. Some said, you know, fifth floor, sixth floor. Some said elevation of, you know, 80 feet, elevation of 97 feet. And I had to, you know, draw, draw that out. But I would always suggest what you do first is when you take your isometric paper, you're going to put north, south, east, west, just like this. Okay. North, south, east, west west okay um that's the first most important thing to do always write that down I, you know, when i took uh, a class by ce they, uh, they they drilled that into my head so i still do it and if it's if it helped me pass great if it doesn't matter it's even relevant who cares 
Um, number two, direction. Um, you know, if you have on the paper, north is here, well, make sure that your schematic or your isometric drawing is proper. Um, number three, elevation. Um, perfect example, right? We all know that the trap for a laboratory, right, is not gonna be at the same elevation on your isometric drawing as a tub, right? It's not. So if you have all this on the same elevation, the tub and the lab, well, you lost those points there. Number four, labeling, right? When you draw your isometric drawing, you know, that's gotta be labeled lav, you know? You'll see it when we, in, in a few minutes, when I start drawing this out. You know, water closet, WC. Tub, tub, right? Um, wall clean out, WCO. VTR, vent through roof. Make sure you label everything because you will be graded on uh, labels. And if you missed one, well, guess what? You don't get the points for that. Um, fixtures, you know, your vent through roof, your stack, your soil stack, your clean outs. Um, that's number five. And number six, make sure it's legible. All right, so now that's out of the way, All right? I'm sorry, six minutes, just, it's good to know this. And if any of you have any questions, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. I'll be more than glad to help you, uh, prepare you for that exam day. I just did it, it's still fresh in my mind. You know, I walked in the door at 6.30 in the morning, you know, uh, we were all sitting down by seven, people still still walking in at 7.45. So if you have any questions, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Like I said, the purpose of this first of many videos on these things on the isometric paper is trying to pay it forward because I want you to pass, plain and simple. So Mike at MikeyPipes.com. All right, guys, let's draw this. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to make this as painless yet as educational and as easy as possible. Um, here is our three-piece bathroom. All right, I'm sorry you don't see it, but let's put it right there. We have a laboratory, a water closet, and a tub. This is our north here. One of the first things I want you to do uh, is turn the paper like that, okay? And if you notice, there's my north matching up with there, right? My south will match up over here. That will be west, and off the camera in the corner here will be east, all right? So try to keep that in mind. I'm, I'm sorry about the... Um, you're not gonna be able to see the picture in the, in the, in the ISO right now, but let's just try to do that, right? So I'm gonna put that right there. See if I can adjust this a little bit. Okay, I'm trying. Again, <laughs> I'm not a professional videographer. I'm just a plumber and HVAC uh, guy, you know? Okay, um, I just use this. This is my little architect's, I guess, scale. Yeah. It says architect on it, so I guess it must be an architect ruler, right? Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to uh, establish our up and down line, all right? So I'm just gonna take this right here, right? And let's just go from here. I'm just gonna lightly put a mark right there, all right? It's very lightly, okay? You can see that, I can see that, perfect, right? So let's just erase a little bit here, okay? Go to right there. Now, this is a very simple three-piece bath. So, um, you know, it's pretty easy, right? Should be pretty easy, okay? Um, we have a lavatory over here, okay? We have a tub to the right of our stack. There's our stack right there, right? Okay, and then we have a water closet right there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our architect's um, ruler and let's make a line. Okay, just like that. Picture this line as being that wall. Okay, picture that line as being that wall. Okay, and we know that the furthest fixture is going to be our laboratory. Now, laboratory, okay, is going to be, right, connected to our water closet, right there, right? So we know that this line right here, well, that's not gonna help us right now, right? Because we remember, we have to keep in mind of our elevations, okay? And let's just erase a little bit more right there. And then let's go like this. And we're gonna put a little 
direction of flow right there. All right, and above this is going to become our vent stack, All right? And before I forget, we're gonna go like this, like that, and we're gonna label this VTR, vent through roof, just like that, okay? Now this branch off this stack, the soil stack, well, that becomes our lav. So let's come out of the wall a little bit, just like that, okay? And let's put a little trap on it, just like that. And let's label that lav, okay? So at this point, we know that our soil stack is there, which continues with our vent through roof here, right? And it's coming off of that stack. So we're coming across with the branch and then we're sticking out of the wall, we're putting our trap in right there. So right now, the laboratory is done. Now, let's work on our tub. Now, remember, we have to keep in mind of elevation. Okay, so our tub is to the right of the stack, right there, right? So let's come across, right? Let's drop down a little bit. Let's drop down, let's say right around there, right? And let's come out this way, okay? And we're gonna jet out a little bit, right? And then we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna call that tub. Okay, and then put a little thing majiggy right there because that's direction of flow. So far, so good. Excellent. Now, there's only one more piece left, and that's our water closet. Our water closet, somewhat similar, just like that. And let's come out like this and come up just like that and mark this water closet. See that? And then let's solid in our. That's, Make our lines a little bit darker, okay, like that. There's our vent, which is represented as a dotted line. And again, I could have made this much smaller. I could have, but it's a very simple three-piece bath. And you know what? If you're given a piece of paper like this, use the whole thing. It'll make it that much more legible for the, um, the uh, person uh, reviewing your exam. Now, one thing left is we have to do our building drain, okay? So let's just go down a little bit like, like that and then come across right there, put a little arrow there, right? I messed up a little bit there, it's fine, it's all good, right? And we're gonna write to building drain. See that? And that solves this little three-piece bath. Okay, uh, is it to scale? Well, you know what? Our laboratory is pretty far away from our water closet. And our tub, I guess it's okay. So let's try to visualize that, right? Again, this is just, don't do this on your, on your exam, but let's try to visualize the tub, right? So there's the tub right there, right? It's under the drain, right? Let's say the tub's right there. Boom, right, boom, okay, that looks about right. Water closet, let's see. All right, and I guess our lav, you know what? This is when you go like this, like a lunatic on your exam. Now look, that was kind of like a brand new eraser, and now look, it's almost already gone. So you may wanna bring, and I didn't, but you may wanna bring uh, a few extra uh, erasers there you have it. Let me tell you something. There is nothing wrong with this. This is 100% legit, okay? We have everything labeled. We have our laboratory labeled. We have our water closet labeled. We have our tub labeled, okay? And we have our vent through roof. Now, let's throw a little curveball into this. Let's say right here, let's call this floor drain, okay? Because you're gonna get a lot of those. A floor drain. And it's quite common to see floor drains in uh, in bathrooms, but commercially commercial setting, right? Not in a home, obviously. And if you have a floor drain, you're gonna have a, 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 trap, a trap primer, but don't worry about that for now, right? But you may see here a water heater, just to throw you off. You're not to worry about water, domestic water lines, right? Don't worry about this. You see a, but if you see a laundry sink, right? Utility sink utility sink, 
right? Well, that needs that needs you know drainage okay? and venting, of course, right? So here we go. I'm throwing in a curveball, and we have a floor drain right here in the middle of the bathroom between the entryway and the tub. So where are we going to put that on this isometric drawing? All right? Where are we going to put that? Well, very easy, right? We basically want to put that floor drain, let's say put it right around there, and the floor drain is going to have a trap, okay? So there that is, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to come off of this right there a little bit, and then we're going to continue, right? Right about there, okay? And then just like that. And don't forget, we need to do a little change of, uh, change of direction there. So put a little thing like that and like that, okay? So now here is our floor drain. So lav, floor drain, water closet, tub. Easy peasy. And this is 100%. Have a drink, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.